Welcome to Engineering Academy. Today, we are going to talk about how things move and how understanding the way things move can help us with life and the games we play. This concept is called linear motion, and the two areas we'll look at specifically are velocity and acceleration. Let's kick things off by defining some key terms. Linear motion involves the movement of an object in a straight line. Velocity is the rate of change of an object's position with respect to time, whereas acceleration is the rate of change of that velocity. Now let's see some of these concepts play out in the real world. Consider an example you run into in your everyday life, driving a car. When you press the gas pedal, your car accelerates. The velocity increases as the car covers more distance in the same amount of time. This acceleration is crucial for merging onto highways or navigating through traffic. It is also key to getting up to speed when playing a racing game after a turn or when you start the race. Okay, for a moment, let's talk about free falling objects. Imagine dropping a ball or anything else for that matter from a certain height. As it falls, its velocity increases due to the acceleration caused by gravity which is a constant. Understanding this can help predict how fast objects fall and where they land. Now let's look at sports. Whether it's a soccer ball kicked into a goal or an arrow shot towards a target, the principles of linear motion, velocity, and acceleration are at play. Athletes and gamers use these concepts instinctively to optimize their performance. Linear motion is not only part of simple activities, but can be a part of very complex machines. Take roller coasters, for example. The twists, turns, and drops are carefully designed to manipulate velocity and acceleration, creating thrilling and exhilarating experiences for the riders. Just like most things in the physical world, velocity and acceleration can be understood with simple math equations. Velocity is simply the change in distance over time. Take, for example, the game Civilization. The movement of each unit can also be thought of as velocity, while time is each turn. So, if a unit has a movement value of 3, it can move 3 spaces per turn. If it was a real-time game, the unit may move three spaces per minute. If it was the real world, it may be three kilometers per minute. As you can tell, understanding this information can be very important while playing any real-time strategy game. Similarity, acceleration equals the change in velocity divided by the change in time. So if there are two cars, one has a top speed of 200 kilometers per hour, but it takes a half an hour to get to that top speed, and a second car has a top speed of 100 kilometers per hour, but it takes a tenth of an hour to get there, which one will win the race? As you are probably thinking, it depends. If the second car never gets to its top speed, then it will win every time, because it has significantly higher acceleration than the first car. These are calculations you can use when picking vehicles in games like Forza. Today, we've explored the exciting world of linear motion, uncovering how velocity and acceleration are integral to our daily lives, from driving cars to enjoying roller coasters. These principles not only enrich our understanding of the physical world, but also play a crucial role in technological advances. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. And remember, never stop learning.